so this is my bookshelf on its own not terribly interesting but these are this is the only thing i have left in my comic collection and we're going to talk about aliens specifically my alien comics which occupy this section here this section here not worth so much if we scroll down of course we can actually see my board uh, my rpgs and i probably have gone through these in a previous and if, if i haven't it's not a big deal we can see what i have here from the old 3.5 4.0 stuff d20 original first edition D&D &D 3.5 13th age bunch of all Zorian stuff some some beta stuff in there as well got pathfinder on the other side and they continue down here we can see some star wars prime and then a bunch of my own my own products moving into just some generic books and stuff and i have cookbooks down there but well, here's where actually where we're actually going to be um specifically we go through here and um you'll see some comics i'm not terribly happy uh, people to see and a little embarrassing i still have gi joe stuff i still have transformer stuff in here somewhere some comics that i you know oh there's my star wars some of these are actually probably worth something uh i know i have a couple that are worth a bit dark empire that's an original that's the original dark empire that's actually worth something maybe i don't know but they're not worth nothing uh we get to here after my apple seed and we get to my alien and that goes all the way to the end these are all alien comics and we'll start off with the first one, which is right here. Check it out. You can see my reflection, sorry. So uh, this was $30. Not sure if it's worth anything more now, but this is the original Aliens that came out in 86. Uh, it is it says signed, and it is. So let's see this here. You want to go, no, don't open it. I'm going to. So let's take that out. Pretty good condition, isn't it? And there is the uh, printer. I actually have another one that's signed. Uh, so this is the original Aliens. This was one that uh, still had Ripley and Hicks in it. It said after Aliens. I think this was the first one. And then after this, they followed it up with uh, Earth War. Uh, going back, I may be wrong, but there you go. There's that one issue. We'll put that one back. This here, this is Aliens Book 1, which I do believe this is actually a, an issue of. So this, let's take a look at that, eh? So this is a hardcover with a slipcase. Oh, it hasn't even been. Look at that, folks. Signed. Numbered. This thing is uh, expensive. This is like 70 bucks. But yeah, there's a, literally this has been glued to the inside here, and it's been signed. Uh, this has never been opened um, wide. And this is, once again, this is um, direct follow-up of Aliens. Has Hicks and Ripley and all that. But yeah, look at that. Ooh, you can still hear it. So that's going to go right back in the slipcase. You'd think I wouldn't be opening up with the big ones, but... Uh, I wouldn't say this one's big, mind you, but this is one of my all-time favorite. Wrote, read this in one evening. Um, it's not a full-on... Um, it is a story, basically, with il illustrations. Right? Um, it is a very grim story, but uh, I absolutely love it. Tribes is one of the best stories out there and um, that's a hardcover so got some personal value to it we'll put that one aside for now give me a bit more room uh so let's go through here uh this is newt's tale this is a story that was written that, that tells aliens from newt's perspective so it uh the first issue is all original tells her her story what happened on now before 26 before the aliens arrived and then the second one is aliens through newt's, newt's perspective this is one of the Alien vs. Predator. It is not the first one. This one's called Booty. This is an offshoot. It's a one-shot. <sighs> Wildcat and Aliens. Ridiculous crossover. I think it's the only one of those I have. Alien Survival. Now, actually, only enough. We're going... These are, these are newer ones I got. They're probably still 15 years old or not older. But um, this one's an older one. But it's one of the newer series. 
Survival, the three issue one. Yeah, I got all three of those. There are a few of them. I never finished it. Um, Aliens, Apocalypse, The Destroying Angels. I don't know if I remember the story of that one. Uh, there's two and there's four. So it looks like I missed one. Uh, Stalker, which is a medieval alien story. That was pretty cool. That's a one shot. Alien vs. Predator Eternal. I don't actually have a lot of the Alien vs. Predator stuff. There's two, there's three, and there's four. Purge, which is a very weird one because um, this illustration has nothing to do with the story inside it. This is another one shot. I think this. I think the story behind this. They had a one story that they were going to go with. And then they abandoned it and wrote something else, but they still had this committed for the cover and the name. Uh, this is an oldie. This is Dark Horse Comics uh, that introduced the aliens before they went off in their own series. That's pretty old. I have a couple of those, actually. Here's a rare one. This is, oddly enough, this again, but this is one of the issues. This is the Dark Horse Present Aliens. Look at the amazing artwork aliens earth war and then this series here the dark horse presents aliens have just astoundingly good artwork look at that um avp annual that's the most avp stuff this is the uh, comic version of alien 3 i actually have it back to back with an alien special coolness um some of these are double no no those are two in no there isn't just they're just not back properly this is music of the spears this is basically near the end of the golden age i would call it when they were putting out new alien comics every single month from different series music of the spears is a bizarre one deals with an artist trying to use the aliens to um to make a music orchestra of course it always ends badly there's music of the spears two three and finally four and in case you're wondering yes the main character does not end well Coin Marines, this um, was not a good series. It was supposed to be 12 issues. It does not make it that far. They canceled it at 10. And you can see around issue 8, the numbering changes. I thought it was okay. There's a lot of lore I tapped for Coin Marines for my Aliens RPG. There's two. Uh, there's three. There's four. Yeah, Coin Marines also um, introduced Mondo, who's a... Uh, he would go off and do a couple of his own standalones. Five, and at some point, yeah, there's Mondo right now. He, he'll have a standalone. There's six out of 12, seven out of 12, and then right here, boom, gets, gets cut short. Now it's eight out of 10, and it also ran off a cliff. It got very weird, and like literally characters, like there's like one of the alien characters changed genders. Long story, it's not a great story. Rogue. Um, and I'm trying to remember the story of Rogue. I have all of those. Three and four. Uh, oh, this is issue two of Newt's Tale. Okay. I, I'm not sure why it's not with its original. Aliens Genocide. This is a fantastic series. This is a great series. I love Genocide. Although its storyline isn't particularly... It's not... It, it's, oh, it's sorry, not, none of it's canon, but um, their ideas I didn't agree with, but whatever bunch of those uh this is a reprint i have it in a um combine graphic novel here somewhere but i went and bought the original issues because i love the cover the covers are amazing one of the biggest points about you'll see here is that the story dealt with a fight between these regular traditional black skinned aliens and these invading red skinned aliens on this one planet uh, not sure how that means but it was a neat idea at the time uh aliens havoc this is a one of two a second issue here Yes, there's Alien Havoc, Alien's Pig, which is a standalone story, Sacrifice, which is a standalone story, but it's a big one, it's a big one. I love this one. This one's very good. Um, I like that one. I like how it's made. Um, Alien's Wraith, until the graphic design starting to get weak. Xenogenesis, which is another newer one. One, two, three, and four. Uh, and then AVP Xenogenesis. Not sure how those are related. So there's one, two, three, and four of that one. And this is Salvation, an another fantastic. But look who made it. I did not really know or appreciate the fact that Mike Mignola did. Hellboy himself, Mike Mignola did an Aliens 
comic, Alien Salvation. That's cool. Very mature. They seem mature readers. I mean, this is a great story. Um, I, yeah, this is Mike Mignola doing an Alien Salvation. I, I completely forgot that Mike Mignola did that. Yeah, that's nice. Here's Genocide. This is the one I've been reading. So this is the one that's gone all the way. This is the original. Oh, not the original, but this is the first one I got. Then I got those comics later. Um, here, this is brand new. Now we've jumped. This is like, this is like mid nineties. And this is like three years ago. This is, um, when Alien 3's, uh, William Gibson's Alien 3 got big. There was a bunch of crap co comics on it. I collected a few of them. But then I uh, bought the, the complete series. And the reason why this is special, like why I decided to stop picking up these and get these, well, I'll show you. So this is the, um, the complete series. Alien 3. And there it is, folks. For Chris, thanks, Johnny Christmas. I met Johnny Christmas at a convention. I am a huge fan of Johnny. And uh, I bought this uh, from him, and then he signed it for Chris, and he has a little drawing of the alien there. <laughs> I don't care about value. I just love the fact that I have this. So this is now, I have three types of alien comics that have been signed by uh, the artists or the writers and I, I value them tremendously we have these okay so night okay these are, these have a story nightmare asylum and outbreak um at least nightmare asylum these were attempts to retcon the earlier aliens comics because obviously we, they these early aliens comics had ripley had newt had hicks in their further adventures after aliens and of course alien 3 came out and killed them all so they went back and they just created these and they took these stories and just renamed them and didn't do much else. And as a result, it's, it's riddled with plot holes and questions and doesn't do a particularly good job. Ah, there we go. The, the classic Earth War and it's fantastic artwork. Do I have all the issues of Earth War? I think I do. Yeah, there we go. And then there's issue four of Earth War. Um, there's AVP War. I think I have... Uh, there's two... There's uh, three, and then concluding with four. I think I said not a huge fan. There's the, you know. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's the Batman Aliens one. It's a, it's a two issues, and they're both here. I, I've read this. I don't think I own the Superman one, even though I have read it. Uh, so this, I do believe, is exactly the same. Uh, it's the first issue of this right here. Um, once again, I, I, you know, not the first time I had multiples, uh, kidnapped, and that's a three issue series. One, two, and three. Uh, right here we have Hive. Hive is another great story. Hive is a very, I want to say famous, but it has some great ideas. It has some great ideas. Um, it was famous because this creature here, this alien, is actually not an alien. This is a, thin, a synthetic alien meant to infiltrate a hive. A great idea, and we actually end up seeing it, another character like it pop up in another story. I might have passed it already here. Um, but yeah, that's um, it's a neat idea. I really would like um, somebody, if they do an alien TV series, to tap on some of these ideas. One of the most famous comics, Labyrinth, um, laid the foundation of a lot of later comics. Not a very happy ending, but this is a very, very dark uh, series. Um, classic writing. Good art style, too. Then there's uh, three. I have two copies of three. Don't ask me why. Uh, and there's four. Two copies of four. Don't know why. Uh, this is the comic version of Resurrection. Um, only two. That's interesting. Do I have the second one? There it is. Mondo Heat. So that was the character from the Colony Marines. He ended up getting a couple of his own standalones. He's kind of like he, he's, he's Duke Nukem. He's Duke Nukem in the Alien series. That's what he basically is. Um, Alien Glass Corridor. It's a one-shot. Uh, Alien Earth Angel. This is another one-shot. This is an alien on Earth in modern day, I think. Very unusual alien design in it. Mondo Pest. Another Mondo story. I'm not sure how many more they made of him. Uh, Alchemy. Um, I don't know if this is the one that's set in medieval days. Or if it's similar, but that's... I love the covers of these things. Look at that. That is a great cover. Uh, two and this three. Yep, there's three. 
Stronghold. Okay, so Stronghold. So we went back and we were talking about tribes here. So tribes introduced this idea. Um, and I'm going to go by memory because it's been probably 20 years since I've read these. <clears throat> they would find a hive on a planet or in a station. They would infiltrate it. And then a, there would be a guy, um, probably not the most psychologically stable person, that would volunteer to get um, captured. They would then take him to the hive and, and, and cocoon him. And before he would get impregnated, they would l release a berserk power armor uh, called Mox or Max, depending. He's Max here, Mox here. Uh, and the idea, of course, is that um, they would release him. He, they would pump him full of drugs and stimulants and have him go. And he would go on a crazed rampage with this power armor that was got so much plated armor, it would be virtually immune to alien acid. And it would just he would just pummel through the hive and confront the queen and destroy it. Right. And it would, like I say, it was a crazed man, unafraid because of all the drugs pumping into him. Usually he's like he's a convict. And then the moment he'd kill the queen, they would pump him full of medication put him into a coma and then wait until they get moved to another mission. And then they would release the guy in cocoon and then they go about their business. That was tribes. Stronghold is basically the same, a variation of the same story, but um, some characters actually survive. Uh, the art style isn't as good because of the amazing artwork in tribes. Uh, and then the characters from these stories, from the story do pop up in one of the AVPs. One of the reasons why I have one of these AVPs here is that it includes characters from Stronghold. So Stronghold and tribes are basically cousins because they, they involve the same storyline. Uh, so there should be, of course, two and three. Oh, yes, yes. I think Stronghold also introduced... Um, uh, a character from Hive, not the same character, but the idea of that synthetic alien, a synthetic like bishop, but made to look like an alien to infiltrate the Hive. And so Stronghold, of course, not being the most original story, uh, involved elements from both Hive and tribes. And so this creature here, this alien, uh, this is actually a synthetic alien. The alien in Hive um, is designed to act more like an alien and they can kind of override it for its, with its synthetic functioning. But if while it's in, in alien mode, it will outright kill people if you don't stop it. Uh, and there's some nice unfortunate moments where it actually kills people before they can stop it. Uh, in Stronghold, however, they've improved its programming so it's personable and able to distinguish which mode it's in. And in a few more humorous moment, they get it to hold a cigar. But, and then there's a final moment where the alien and then the Max Armor team up to destroy this hive. And that's why we see an alien actually holding a gun um, all leading up to that moment. I think it's a good series. I enjoy it. I mean, why not? Um, so anyway, that, do I have multiples? Oh, Berserker. No, wait. No, wait. Oh, God. I'm, people don't tell me I'm getting things wrong. Berserker is the one that introduces that guy and then he pops up in stronghold again oh my i'm gonna have to read these again because berserker is the same kind of storyline in fact berserker might be a retelling of tribe i don't know it's been so long since i've read these um but that's where i'm gonna put tribe there just as a reminder now that there's actually something up here we've been seeing these and move those aside um and we'll take these out um, these are some older, way older comics. This is uh, really old. What's this? Uh, when was this one published? Great artwork, by the way. We got here is um, 1993. So this is almost 30 years old. Not been cared up very well, but. This has some issues, some tribes, parts of tribes in here, Bug Hunt. This is from Salvation, or Sacrifice, sorry. Right, so not really, just more as like, I'm, I own it, so whatever. This one here, similar thing. Um, these were old tags. So they're not good, great, great quality, but some stuff from some Salvation are on here as well. Uh, this thing is just a bunch of art prints. I'm not sure how I got a hold of this one. Um, look at these, eh? I haven't seen these in so long, and they're in mint condition. This is this is probably the first time these things have seen the uh, the light of day in 20 years. The 
The copyright dates on these is 1989, so these are over 30 years old. So, you can make a joke and say, uh, these images, these, these prints are older than my wife. <laughs> Oh, these are nice. And look at that, yeah. Just just plates. Somewhere in one of these stories, and it was probably one of those over there, is a story where um, it's it resolves Earth War. And I know Alien Theory did a video on it just recently. But yeah, so there you go. There is, uh, that is my collection of alien stuff. I used to have models. I don't have the models anymore. Uh, somewhere in here, for example, is going to be the leading edge game. Where? It's probably right in front of me. You just can't see it. There's the Cloning Marine Technical Manual right here. Lee, Lee Bribicombe Woods um, Tech Manual that so many people use as a resource. Um, ignore my uh, yearbooks there. Uh, where is it? There it is. Right in front of us. There it is. The Aliens Adventure Game. A role-playing game done by Leading Edge Games. They only made two titles and then they went out of business. Um, and then that's it. There's my Aliens uh, game there. And there you go, folks. Um, my collection of alien stuff. Um, and to go along with it now, I have a role-playing game.